Okay, last one that I wanna share with you guys for today is, um, is how to get more juice, right? So what does, that, uh, what does that really mean? It's like, how can you get more out of what you're already, um, how can you get more out of what you're already doing, okay? So I wonder, hopefully, I wonder if the audio like switched off. I had my microphone on, but I see that the microphone died. I'm assuming that you guys are still hearing me since nobody said like, hey, we don't hear you anymore. So I'm just gonna assume that it switched from a, that it switched from having the microphone on to just doing the audio here coming out of the coming out of the phone. Okay, so um, okay, so how can you get more juice? So number one is to look at your network and figure out maybe there's some people that you could be creating tighter relationships with within your network. Okay, a lot of times people are looking like always looking for new, going out. How can you know? How can we go get more, 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 new, new, new? Well, maybe what it's about is just actually increasing what you already have going on around you. So um, how can you look at your network, right? How can you look at your own network and get more, you know, and get more, um, get more deals, get more partnerships? You know, what can you do to, within your own network to be strengthening those relationships, right? Strengthening them and tightening them up today, making sure that you're not disappearing, okay? People are going to go into this quarantine or whatever's going on right now. And, and some people are going to disappear and you want to make sure that you're not one of those people that are disappearing. You want to be out there. You want to still be um, in the mix, right? You want to still be having action on your profile, bringing content, just making sure that you're not disappearing. So what can you do within your own network to go out, maybe either reconnect with people that you haven't connected with in a while or just have a reach out on a phone call? You know, what can you do with your own network to strengthen any relationships that you have there? Uh, number two is how can you co-brand? Okay, so a lot of people right now, they're looking for more business. They're looking for ways to get, you know, more exposure. So how can you offer that? Either through co-branding from, you know, people that you can bring up or look around people that are serving the same customers as you, but they're not direct competitors. So as a realtor, co-branding for a realtor could look like tons of people, right? You have people from interior designers, home painters, uh, home stagers, in, uh, landscapers, pool people, um, home inspectors, right? Roofing companies. There's all these people that realtors are kind of associated with, but you're not direct competitors. So how can you be looking to co-brand with some of those people? What can you do to create some co, you know, co-create content right now? If you have some value to bring to their network, could you guys create some video together? and let them push that video out to their own, you know, to their network. What can you do to look at, everybody has their own individual personal sphere, so how can you benefit from those other spheres that are existing today and get out there a little bit more, right? So it's not that you have to go and put a whole bunch of money into the market in, in order to find these. This all right here is for free, right? This is just looking at who's already around you and how could you leverage existing relationships. All right, the last one is ambassadors. Okay, so ambassadors to me is somebody different than what you would co-brand with, right? An ambassador is somebody in your network that has a lot of pull. They have weight. They have their own sphere of influence. They're well-known. An ambassador could be somebody like a CEO of a company or somebody that runs HR for a large company. An ambassador could be somebody who is well-known within your local community, somebody on the city council, the mayor, um, somebody within the police department, right? These are all different potential ambassadors. So how could you be looking around for, again, within your own existing network of people that maybe you don't have a good relationship with them and you need to create one? You know, they could be a huge referral source for you. Oftentimes an ambassador doesn't necessarily have anything to gain back from their, their referrals. They, they do it because of the relationship that you have with them. You know, that's the best example is somebody that owns their own company or runs HR for a company. They're going to have a lot of opportunities to hear about people that may want to buy a house or they're going to be you know, in, that, in that circle of information. And because they're your ambassador, they could be sending all that business over to you, right? They can be recommending you for that business. So look around, go through your own Facebook um, friends list, go through your own Instagram connections and this kind of thing, your LinkedIn connections and look. 
Who do you know that's not associated at all with the real estate industry, but that they could be a huge referral source for you? And what could you do to reach out to them and provide value or create a better relationship with that person so that when the time comes, hopefully frequently, for them to be referring somebody for real estate needs, you're the person that they're gonna think about. Or for mortgage needs, you know, you're the person that they're gonna think about. So be looking around for ambassadors. So I mean, right now, you know, all this right here is completely for free. I mean, a lot of times people are nervous about money today because they don't know what's gonna happen over the next couple of weeks, right? And everything's gonna solve itself out and everything's gonna be just fine. And this right here is gonna allow you to go out and organically create a bigger, stronger, better network of people around you and having you inserted into other spheres of influence by co-branding with people. And then also how can you, again, look at creating ambassadors, do an audit of your own business and see, where, do you have ambassadors in your business today? Who are those people? Right? What are their common characteristics of the ambassadors that are referring you more than three to five deals a year? And maybe if you have amazing ambassadors, that number is higher for you, right? Maybe that number is an ambassador to you is somebody that's referring at least six deals per year or whatever the number is, right? I would think in general, if you look around at how many referrals you get per person that you know, somebody that's referring over three or five deals a year is probably a pretty significant amount. So, and, but, but that number could be small, right? If you go and find the right, if you go and find the right ambassador, okay?